get that part of it, but uh, things are changing, that's for sure. I you know. can't sit down with your kids a and classic, watch Charlie right? Brown. All right, let's talk about this weather here. Finally, the sun returning today. <laughs> Unless you have apples. And you certainly strike me as one that's sitting down with the kids watching <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Mike always wants to watch <laughs> yeah, old shows, right. <laughs> especially cartoons. I don't know why. I, I like Frosty, that. though. <laughs> right. He's a good one. All right, so you know what? It's taken a job. <laughs> it's taken us a while this <laughs> afternoon, but we are finally into some sunshine out there and what's turning out to be a pretty nice evening, albeit I think we're setting the stage for what's probably going to be a foggy night. But hey, how about this? More importantly, finally some sunshine. That's what we should expect heading into your Thursday. And as a result of more sunshine, we will also enjoy some warmer temperatures as well. So if you're making outdoor plans, this is how I'm seeing it this evening. You're in decent shape. The rain is gone. We don't have to worry about any additional rain. However, fog is likely to become a problem later on tonight. Thursday, as I've been saying all week, is still the only completely dry day this week from start to finish. And hence the reason why it's been my pick day of the week. Tomorrow is the day to get something done outdoors because it looks like while Friday starts dry, Weather conditions go downhill Friday afternoon and evening. It turns wet and then it starts to turn colder and it looks like the gloomy weather is back in play for Saturday and it doesn't look very pleasant out. So radar now things are quiet. There were some showers several hours ago. You can see them quickly scooting out of here now and as a result, we're finally making our way to the drier weather as expected. That front that's been plaguing our area finally lifting back to the north tonight. So this large area of rain out towards the Mississippi River that will pass us well to the north of I 70 tonight. So as skies clear across the area, we've got plenty of lingering moisture and if you look even now, the skyline looks pretty hazy. Now that we're into the month of October and these nights have gotten longer, good setup, I think, tonight for areas of patchy, dense fog, if not widespread fog, and certainly probably some low clouds to develop. It's the warmest it's been all day. We are making a run at 70 with some of that late day sun, but again, calm winds, plenty of moisture in the air. I'd watch for fog later tonight. That front really served as the dividing line today between seasons. Fall north of the Ohio River, Late summer to the south, almost 80 this afternoon across much of the bluegrass, but where we were stuck in the clouds and even a few showers, temperatures never managed to budge out of the 60s. So it stays mild a good part of the night tonight. We'll hover in the 60s for a while, but gradually see our way down into the upper 50s, mid to upper 50s before the sun comes up. And again, fog probably going to become fairly widespread. So quiet tonight. Looks like once we burn out of any clouds or fog in the morning, should see a lot of sunshine for the afternoon afternoon or at least more than we've seen all week and more importantly it's dry for everyone quiet Thursday night your Friday starts dry dry through lunchtime on Friday I believe and then Friday afternoon and evening showers and storms become more widespread probably even more widespread than what we're seeing right there behind me so fog likely later tonight, mild 57 for an overnight low. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a warmer day with more sun, 78 for an afternoon high. There's a look at your day planner. Again, it won't be a perfectly sunny day, but it will be the best we've seen this week. Here's your seven day forecast. Friday starts not too bad, but it's a weather impact day. Plan for wet weather for high school football. And then there's your gloomy weather on Saturday with some improvements on Sunday. All right, Kevin, thank you. The coronavirus.